in this video I'm going to explain the skills that you need in order for you to become data scientist I'll start the soft skills so soft skills are usually learned after you practice we have critical thinking why critical thinking because critical thinking is going to help you when you transform the business problem into a data problem and and then you're going to be like okay which features should I need from which database should I take so this is going to help you a lot in critical create critical thinking creativity and finding solutions your job as a data scientist is always finding a solution okay fixing a problem a good communication or storyteller and as a data scientist you will know all this mumbo jumbo math and uh, coding skills and your job is going to be to convince the stakeholders that whatever you're doing is going to help their business so you need to take their permission if their stakeholders or the, your managers they don't approve you won't be able to do this project and a storyteller means after you do the project and you do the algorithm and you find the solution it's going to be your job to explain them to explain it to them problem solving as I said your job is going to be problems uh, solving most of the time and you will be always willing to learn because there is always something new new software new package a new method a big data uh, kubernetes iot and stuff like this okay and hard skills obviously the first one is math and statistics now you know you shouldn't supposed to be math whiz okay uh, there are certain um, subjects in math you need to know but not everything in math and not everything in statistics okay ethical skills why ethical skills okay ethical skills because you're dealing with data you're you're actually managing data so you'll be actually working uh, with very critical data your employee data so you're basically going to know everything about them uh, so it's much be it will be better if you do not talk about this type of information and data uh, with uh, other people especially outside the organization because uh, it's not going to be ethical team player skills because you will be dealing with uh, other department let's say you're working as a customer segmentation so you go to the sales department and get the data you have your own data analyst data engineer uh, and so on so you, you'll be able to you'll be working with uh, kind of like project manager you will be uh, managing the project and working with uh, a lot of people lifelong learning skills you know like time management pomodoro technique uh how to write uh, notes uh, this type of thing because you'll be consistently learning communication skills is, is uh, also was mentioned here but here it was mentioned as a storyteller but communication skills writing emails uh, requesting some data from data engineer and stuff like this real world project skills you'll be working with real data real project so you need to uh, have at least like uh, you've solved a real project uh, uh, you, you actually solved a real project because you'll be working in, in a real company okay uh, machine learning skill this is the core skill like what is an overfitting underfitting this type of things data visualization skills you should know how to draw a chart and how to conduct a uh, make a chart and understand the chart and explain the chart whether it was an excel or r or python or both data wrangling and pre-processing which is a data analyst uh, skill but you should know that and coding skills python and r you should know python or r and i will recommend that you know at least both of them okay these are the most common skills in order for you to become a data scientist see you in the next video